Hey guys, welcome Hello back everyone. to Popcorn in Bed. We get a double feature of Carly this week. It's Ooh. not usually two in one week. I know, this is a good time. This I know, right. and I'm actually so excited about this movie. I haven't told her. No. Okay, I'm okay. gonna do it in steps. Okay. okay. Number one, mm -hmm. it's a sports movie. Love. Number two, young Kevin Costner. <gasps> Number three, really love. romance. Our favorite. Sports romance. <laughs> Number four, it's about golf. I love it. <laughs> I know. I love to golf. And I love Kevin Costner and sports and romance. I know. Equal, I think, my favorite movies. Like, For the Love of the Game. I know. That one. Okay, I'm so excited. And that was Kevin Costner, too. Yeah. Okay. I'm so excited. Um, this one's been suggested ever since I started the channel because everyone's like, how have you not seen? It's called Tin Cup. Okay. How have you not seen Tin okay. Cup? This like movie was made for you. The leading lady is, I think it's Renee Russo, and I know her from Lethal Weapon. You know, you will know her as um, Thor's mom. Oh. But she was like, you know, yeah, no, young, yeah, yeah, and um, young Costner, young. Yeah. Man. Have you ever watched a golfing movie? I mean, Happy, Happy Gilmore. Gilmore. <laughs> uh, there is another one, and I feel like Shia LaBeouf was in it. I clearly remember it very well. There's, and I watched it a long time ago. I know so there's I one called it. The Legend of Bagger Vance. I haven't seen mm -hmm. that one. Caddyshack. I haven't seen that. And this one. is just time for the Masters. Exactly. Oh, fun. So the Masters. I mean, we're watching. You'll watch this probably after, but the Masters is in a few days on Sunday, and so this seems like it's the perfect starts. time. Spring and golf and young Kevin. Yes. Costner. So, anyways, we're really excited and all the things. Of don't forget to like and subscribe here. Yeah, you do the things. And Patreon, super fun community, and so you got polls, and you should go like talk to all the movie people mm -hmm. and us, and it's a good time. And uh, Instagrams, mm -hmm. and ready, set, roll. Okay. <laughs> oh, I should have did a golf scene. Four. 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 Oh, we're about to tee off. <laughs> about to tee this movie off. Get it? Get it? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Seen one of those in real life, have you? Sam, nope. Is Kevin Costner your favorite actor of all time? He's up there. Top like five. Tom Cruise is up there for me and my yeah. favorite. But I was thinking the other night. Oh, Hugh Jackman. I was thinking because we watched X Men. Oh yeah. That he's gotta be up there too. Yeah. His range from Broadway to oh, action no. and Wolverine and all the things. I'm like, shoot. Okay, so this was 1996. This movie? Uh huh. And I won't. Okay. Fields of Dreams was 1989. Okay. So okay. a little older than Fields of Dreams, yeah. Kevin, but. Two dollars, I get this new one right there. Oh gosh. <laughs> Number two! Winner, winner! Kevin Costner and a wife beat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so everyone puts in 20 bucks. Pot goes to whoever solves a riddle. You're gonna get the riddle, Tim Cup. Dewey, I'm the one asking the riddle. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking it's an impossible riddle. Well, it's not. Sometimes the easiest ones are the hardest mm -hmm. ones. <laughs> now a man's driving down the road with his son, and he gets in a crash. They take the man and his son to different hospitals. Son goes into the operating room. There this one. You have? Yeah. I can't operate on this boy. He's my son. Now how is that possible? <laughs> Clock's ticking, fellas. Father married the son's daughter. It's a family riddle, really. you got you gotta think clean thoughts. The doctor's a woman. The doctor's a woman. Oh. <laughs> See, the doctor's the son's mother. Feminists pose a riddle to reveal how deeply our sexual stereotypes run. Ma'am, I've been called a lot of things before, never been saddled with that one. Well, you might try being saddled sometime. Well, I'm just a humble golf pro. Could I help you? You're Roy McAvoy, the golf pro? Mm-hmm. Well, I, I pictured something uh, different. I have a 7 o'clock lesson. I thought I had a doctor, Griswold. <gasps> okay. all this from the golf channel <laughs> it's a waste of money but i believe in the gathering of knowledge and i thought you know there must be some truth to the golf swing illustrated by some of these devices i bet she's got a golf watch you got a golf watch yeah i, I think i got a pretty good one do you know what a golf watch is no you're a smart woman for christ's sakes right why don't we do this old-fashioned way just go take a swing all right oh practice <laughs> practice swing that's what yeah, i always say <laughs> Show me. Go ahead. 
You know, look, I, I tend to process things verbally. So do you think you could break down into words how you just did that? Well, I tend to think of the Gosling as a poem. Oh, he's doing that poetry thing. The critical opening phrase of this poem will always be the grip, which the hands unite to form a single unit by the simple overlap of the little finger. Slowly and slowly, club head is led back, pulled into position, not by the hand. Picking your and pointer oh, finger. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. A nod to the gods. A, a nod to the gods. To the gods. That he is fallible. Begins shifting back to the left, pulled by the powers inside the earth. It's alive, this swing, a living sculpture, and down through contact, always down. Striking the ball crisply. The tuning fork goes off in your heart. Your balls. Such a pure feeling as the well struck golf shot. The reverse C of the golden bear. And the unfinished symphony. It's actually pretty eloquent. Yeah. Boy McAvoy. What? What's unfinished? Well, I have a short follow through. It has an unfinished look. Well, some say it's because that's the easiest way to play through the winds of West Texas. Some say it's because I never finished anything in my life. It's about gaining control of your life and letting go at the same time. Another acceptable theory about how to hit a golf ball. Oh, boy. Well, what is it? What's the other theory? Rip it and rip it. <laughs> <laughs> Waggle. She's not doing the hand thing, is she? <laughs> Waggle it and let the big dog eat. What big dog? Oh boy. Driver, the number one wood. Metal. Yeah, well, woods are metal. Don't worry about it. The, the, the <laughs> Why do they call them woods? Do they used to be wood, maybe? Yeah, I don't know, actually. Oh. Oh. Without a doubt, the stupidest, silliest, most idiotic, grotesque, green masquerading is a game ever been invented. That's why I love it. He needs to technique I know. her a little more. I feel like, yeah, I'm like, maybe she, she, she should start at the, wet, at the wedge and... Well, I think the big dog just ate something there. <laughs> well, I always say quit on a good shot. We'll call that lesson number one. If you're such a legendary striker, why are you at your age out here in the middle of nowhere operating a barely solvent establishment when you're capable of so much more? Tell me how you really feel. Perhaps I'm chock full of inner demons. What the hell are you doing here, man? Hey there, Romeo. Been a while, hadn't it? Yeah. Gin cup around? Uh, no, he's in, um... Uh, Houston. Damn, I thought you were supposed to be on the big pro golf tour. Yeah, you tell Ten Cup that I'm in town for my uh, big charity best ball tournament. And I got a spot for him. I thought you hated him. Hell, I haven't even thought about him in a dozen years. Good old days at the University of Houston when we won all them titles together. And old Roy, he can help me if we can manage to behave like grown-ups together. Isn't there an actual golfer named Roy? I don't know. Hello, Cup. There is no catch. A half million dollar purse. By God, I'm tired of seeing the money head out of town. Make more birdies. I need you on my team. We're playing Cottonwood, where you once shot a 59. You can still shoot a 65 in your sleep. Hot tub, Roy? <laughs> it's a spa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, put it there, partner. <laughs> These two homeboys are going to show the world what golf in West Texas is all about. I'm scared there is a catch. Me too. Hell, I didn't mean I wanted you to play with me. I want you to caddy for me. You know, <gasps> read the greens. Club me, that kind of stuff. That was rude. Yeah. Hell, I can't bring a guy in off the street to play in my tournament. This has become a big time event. Hell, I got corporate sponsors. You made it really sound yeah. like. I'll give you a hundred bucks for the loop. Five percent of any earnings. Get the hell out of here, man. I was just trying to offer you some work. Yeah, thank you very much. David? Yeah. I'll take the job. We'll take the job. <laughs> 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 cleaned up. Oh wait, they're on, he's on his team. Yeah. Your damn caddy came by and told me he'd get on the green from here. I could. <laughs> Give me the seven iron. I'm gonna lay up. You can make that shot. Hell, I can make that shot. Easy. But the smart play is to lay up. Thirteen years on the tour, you're still a pussy. <laughs> Hit it! 13 years in the driving range. You still think this game is about your testosterone? Rory McElroy. Oh, that's your. That's who Mikhail, I was thinking. McElroy? McElroy. Rory McElroy. <laughs> and his name is Roy, like, McCoff or something. So, Sims from the rough. That's a smart play. Yeah, but Rory's the current golfer. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I got to bet with Mickelson McCord that your caddy can knock it on from here. Trying to win a tournament here. We are. That's great. But I got five to one. I think pretty good odds. Come on, let him hit at it. It's only an exhibition. Come on, come on, Roy. You can handle it. I got a ball. Balls versus brains, let Roy. You hit that shot, just keep walking, because your ass is fired. <laughs> <laughs> I think things have officially changed here now to get the two-shot lead. I tell you what, I don't think there's any chance. Let me give you a little background here. It's Roy McElroy. Everybody calls him Tin Cup. Well, this is something we don't see every day. National television. I don't, I don't know who this guy is, but this guy even gets it out of there. I'd, I'd be surprised. He's going to do it. Right? He's totally going to do it. And then he's going to the big leagues. Oh, 
he's not that good. You he will is this. So easy. Like he did a half swing. Carry that bag? Yeah. Pick it up. Yes, sir. Take a hike. The loot's over. You can't fire me. Hey, I just knocked it stiff from 250. You just hit the shot that took you out of the money, bud. Welcome to life on the tour. Tonight, the sports machine. No, 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 just act normal. The other guys will hire you. I know, seriously. I had it all to do over. I'd still hit that shot. You know why I'd still hit that shot? Because it's the only way you could beat Dave Sims. Because that shot was a defining moment. And when a defining moment comes along, you define the moment. Or the moment defines you. 1981, Fort Washington Golf Club. Final round of the tour qualifying school. Tried to hit that same impossible cut three wood into the wind, Illy Lie. Till you finally pulled it off and tapped it in for a crowd pleasing 13. When a 12 would have got you on the tour. Now that was a defining moment. Shoot. Define you or 12,000. It makes a difference. Look, boss, I only got one rule. Never bet money that you don't have on a dog race with an ex-girlfriend who happens to be a stripper. Look, you gotta tell her something nice to start off with, you know, kind of like an icebreaker. Just be nice, okay? You're looking particularly lovely this evening. You owe me $12,000. Uh, and we're, and we're going to pay. Don't worry about it. I know what could they have done? I think it was dog racing. With equity and inventory, it's worth 12 grand. This is how you think you're going to settle up? By giving me the deed to your driving range? In addition, you don't sell right away. Me and Romeo keep our jobs. What in the world would I want with your stupid driving range? Equity, inventory, cash flow. What are your labor costs? Everybody gets what they get. Forget to think. He'll take the deal. He'll take the deal. She's a businesswoman. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. He used to date her. Driving range yeah. is worth 10000 You still owe me two. Oh, it's like a rocky moment where someone just saw his nice shot and yeah. picks him up and... Me. Oh, he's, selling... oh, he's selling his golf clubs? Yeah. She's been here a while. Mr. McAvoy, I can appreciate that you have a fairly laid-back, relaxed lifestyle, but I have hours to keep. Former Paramar once described my fluid sense of time to being born under the sign of Pisces. I'm gonna say that from now on. <laughs> I'm the only woman in America born after World War II who thinks astrology is a crock of sh Now let's see if the big dog will eat. Yeah. Quit trying to wring the club's neck, Molly. Remember, this game's about trust, touch, and letting go. Why don't you tell me all about your personal life? That's none of your business, Roy. Your boyfriend's a goth. That's my bad. And mm. he's the reason you're taking this game up. Get your hands off her ass, Roy. <gasps> I knew it. How am I supposed to compete with that? Man, she must think I'm such a nothing. Gonna rise to a level worthy of the women who think I'm a joke. Go out and win the U.S. Open. That would impress her. She'd think, oh, you're wonderful, Roy. Romeo, that idea has promise. Biggest golf tournament in the world. Not just the biggest golf tournament in the world. Most democratic golf tournament in the world. It's open. Anybody with a two handicap or better has got a shot at it. You just got to get through a local and sectional qualifier. And unlike Doral or Colonial or AT&T, they can keep you out. <gasps> they can't ask you if you're a, a garbage man or a driving range pro who's check signed by a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> you going to play me for $400 with those? Yeah. And I gave you a, two strokes a side. You ain't got no 400 bucks. I got the title of my car for collateral. Think of it as bragging rights. To the range, oh, knock them out strong. Oh! <laughs> He's doing this to get his clubs back. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Well, that's the place for you to be. Have enough cool. Got the hell off my golf course. Besides, how's getting in the open going to change what she thinks about you? Well, it'll show her I'm not who she thinks I am. You are who she thinks you are. <laughs> I will not give you time off to go win the open. I don't care if it is your quest or any other term you vaguely remember from your cliff notes. That's the most stupid thing I've ever seen. You get mean, then you get petty. Roy, I've got a business to run. Bye-bye, Bon Voyage. Charge forth in pursuit of my mythic destiny. I can't even get time off work to do it. I need a shrink. Maybe. No, no, no shrinks. I know one. <laughs> <laughs> It's the hat for me. <laughs> I feel like he usually plays like a, a serious, like a more serious guy, you know what I mean? Yeah, yes. And, uh -huh. but I've seen him in, the last movie I saw him on is Silverado and he was so goofy and crazy and now this one is kind of fun. Yeah, it is fun. <laughs> ah! 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 Sue Ann! I didn't, I didn't say shit to her. Roy! Okay, Roy, get in the other room, please. Wait, he didn't go in the exit. Hey, look, she was crying when she came out there, all right? So maybe okay. something you okay, said. Okay, Roy, I... Roy, that is a patient exit room. Well, I knew it was some kind of room. It wasn't painted. There was no magazines out Roy, there. Roy, why are you here? Therapy. 
You've come for therapy? Okay, look, Roy, you know, you really need to make an appointment because I have a client in a half an hour. Enough time, 30 minutes. Hell, I'm not that <laughs> up. Okay, Roy, you know what? Why don't you just have a seat right there? <laughs> okay, so how do I do it? In parlance, you might understand, just kick back and let the big dog eat. Suppose there's this guy and he's standing on the shore of a big wide river. Nobody will even go down there to dip a toe. And on the other side of the river is a million bucks. This side of the river is a rowboat. Is this another riddle? What would possess a guy standing on shore to swim for? He's an idiot. His problem is more like, why does he always have to rise to the challenge? We're talking about you and what you like to call your inner demon. You just cut to the chase and tell me why you're here. Woman. Oh. A woman. Have you asked her out? Maybe if you shared your heart with this woman. Afraid she'll say no. So what you're saying, all your speech is really about your golf game, not about your personal life. Well, Christ, I didn't know we are going to get into my personal life. <laughs> you act from the heart. You can't make a mistake. Yeah, it's weird not to see him, like, suave. And yeah, like, confident mm -hmm. and... What? From the moment I first saw you, I knew I was through with bar girls and strippers. And when you first started talking, I was smitten with you. And I'm, you got great legs. And most women, I'm thinking about how to get in their pants from day one. But with you, I'm just, I'm just thinking about how to get in your heart. And uh, stunned, huh? Yeah. Well, he really laid all out there. Yeah. Because this is a mistake. A, a well, I'm acting from the heart. How can that be a mistake? I didn't know you were talking about me, Roy. Well, would your advice have been different? Uh... <laughs> You know, this session is over. I, I have someone coming soon. I, I think you better leave. I take it your answer's no. Well, our relationship is and will remain strictly professional. That's it? I thought he was going to talk to her about his quest. So did I. Well, I'm going to qualify for the U.S. Open and kick your boyfriend's ass. I thought he was going to talk about, like, how to keep his mental game in. And he hates old people, he hates children, and he hates dogs. And that broad's out there crying still, right? <laughs> 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 But still so endearing. I know. And I'm yeah. She likes him a little. Yes, she does. He hates old people and children. <laughs> Dogs. Dogs. <laughs> it's like he's still out here crying. In the exit room. <laughs> You're still in the exit room. I just wanted him to stop blowing up though. You know, I'm like, just like, just I don't know. He knows, she knows about the Winna, Winna, Wait, I don't know what the word was. It's the first time I've ever heard that name in my life. Winna Bodega. You're a beautiful swing, Roy. I'm a beautiful guy. Look, Roy, I came here to apologize, okay? Well, I mean, you did exactly what I said, and I just poured cold water over your efforts. I'm a, like, terrible shrink, probably. Should have never gotten out of real estate. Actually, I should have never left Ohio for that cowboy in Amarillo, but have you ever been to Amarillo? Cowboy. It's not as romantic when you're actually with one, trust me. The bottom just, boom! fell right out of the market and I just, I needed a new gig. I mean, I took all the classes. I'm, you know, legitimate, certifiable. I'm really sorry, okay? <sighs> Roy, do you mind if I have a donut? I like this side of her. Yeah, me too. I am really flattered that you asked me out, but I mean, I can't accept because I am involved with David and any evidence that he treats old people, children or dogs badly. Well, I think that I can help you with the mental aspects of the game. Romeo, to be your swing doctor, I could be your head doctor. Well, you just said yourself, you're a crummy shrink. <laughs> oh, I'll give you my services for, for golf lessons, and, and I can help you through the qualifying, Roy. And then if you make it into the open, well... I'm on my own. You'll be with David. Yeah. It's a deal. Shake hands. That's a good deal, Roy. Roy McElroy. He's doing it. This is the local one. And yes. then yeah. something else. Yeah, I think there's like, what, two or three qualifiers? Well, that's his short follow through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He can pull it off. Ben Hogan, now who's he? I find him mildly attractive when he's obnoxious and arrogant like this. Good. Well, good. That's sad. <laughs> well, I'm not going left of those trees or right of those trees. I'm going over those trees with a little drop. That way I'm putting for eagle now. You don't need an eagle to qualify. You need to practice playing it safe. Yes. I want the course record. Now give me the lumber. No. Head doctor. Even when I'm trying to help you, man. Give me the fucking driver. Dr. Griswold? What do I say? Dr. Griswold. Yes. Should I hit the big dog or the two? Uh, soliciting shot selection advice is a two-stroke penalty. Rest your feelings. Ha! Give me the driver. Shut up. You want the driver? Yeah. Well, that changed my mind. Give me the three wood. You can't clear that dog leg with a three wood. You want to bet? Take the three wood. <gasps> Take it. Show me what a golf pro does, man. Yes, He's I'm going with the same shot, butt. boys. But you know, sometimes I fan that too. <gasps> you better give me the three. I don't think you can break golf clubs that easily. And sometimes I catch that three a little thin too. 
and I've hit flyers with the four. Oh my gosh. My he five. is self-destructing. Yes. I shank the six, but then there's a seven iron. I never miss with the seven iron. He's trying to help you, Roy. Safe club in my bag. One thing, you just go your way and you literally destroy all the... And my life's too short to sit there and watch you blow up all the time. Because I've done it too many times. First sign of adversity and you're quitting? First time you have a chance to qualify for the Open? Jeez, what the hell is wrong with you? Anybody want to bet me I can't par in with a 7-iron? Oh, my gosh. Huh? Take the bet. Roy, just shut up and hit the ball. He hardly even said I know. <laughs> he just put it. Yeah. Like he's gonna play Please. the whole everything with the seven iron. Thank you, boss. How'd I do? Well, you failed miserably, Roy. What are you talking about? Did I not qualify for the sectional? Seven iron, I recall. Your job isn't just to qualify for the open, it's to prepare for the open. You said trust my feelings. I did. Well, I didn't know you felt like breaking all the clubs in your bag. Kissing contest with your caddy, who incidentally quit. We always quit. From the mental aspect, which is my domain, you've regressed, Roy, and are fumbling somewhere between delusion and denial. You gotta use all the psychological language for. Having a bad day, Roy? Uh oh. Hi, honey. Hi, oh, darling. Hello. Shot a 65. Part the backside with a 7 iron. Why? See, that's the question. Why? I mean, we go way back. And I really hope you qualify. This guy is not who you think he is. Camera's not on him. It's old people and children like her. <laughs> and dogs. <laughs> Well, I bet you a thousand dollars against my car that I can beat you in any game. <laughs> what are you, chicken? <laughs> we just gotta buy new clubs. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> What's the game? Your seven iron, Roy. One swing each. Whoever hits it the longest. I hit the seven iron like John Daly hits the three. Uh oh, he knows There's something. There's a catch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 30 yards further. That ball must have gone 220. Not 227. Nice Number shot. up. Fine with me. Have to muscle up, big guy, to get it out there. <laughs> Gotta give it the old. <laughs> what <laughs> is that? There are, jerk. <gasps> He's gonna go down the road, and it'll just bounce forever. Oh my. Mm. Got hustled. Still going. Shoot. Honestly, he needed to be humbled. Yeah. He really did. Like that, he did. <laughs> I'm not even sure that was enough. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I'm on the tee at oh. I'm here to try my luck. <laughs> but I'll okay, give we it treat yourself. Yeah, we should roll me over here. Respect, oh, David. Shut up. Okay. Hey, give me the big dog. Help me keep my head down. <laughs> Dancing grip. I'm trying to straighten that left elbow. What's he listening to, I wonder? Keep your zen. Going in. Just feel it. Right in the back of the jaw. Out with three balls. Now two of them are lost. Two get it cross. Shoot, Roy. I can't afford to lose. Are they driving the Winnebago now? Man, you should have been there. I drained a 30-foot snake to qualify. Okay, don't talk to me, but you're still my guy. Look, it's a little late to be pissed off. I mean, we're in the open. He's in? Yeah, he qualified. I love Earl, okay, but I need you. I love you too, damn it. Well, as much as Earl? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, when I was with Earl, I was thinking of you. <laughs> More than Earl. <laughs> I am your caddy. One more time. But you have to listen to him. Yeah. What am I doing wrong? I don't know. The shanks are like a virus. They just show up. Uh oh. That's like my golf game currently. <laughs> it's got to be the woman. I thought you said it was a virus. Well, a woman can have the same effect. The shanks? <laughs> yeah. Kind of like, you know, like the yips. They're like, yeah. Is anybody home? I got the shanks. Well, are you taking penicillin? There's a glitch in my swing. <laughs> Says it's a head thing. Oh. Mm. You know what? Yeah. I mm. need needs help. We could have a therapy session right here and now. I want you. I gotta get some air, Roy. Molly. Molly. <laughs> Look at me. You're with the wrong guy. I'm the right guy. The moment you came here when you were wearing all this stupid shit. And the whole damn thing's both inspired me to get here and also caused me to get the shanks, which could humiliate me in front of a billion, zillion people. <laughs> See how fit and sweet true. <laughs> 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 
from the spa. Tell me you're not just like at least moderately attracted to me. You have moments. He does. You're like a cool breeze. His seats are covered in fur. I know a spot by the river that's great for sunset. Yeah, I bet you do, Roy. Really. Not tonight means maybe some other night. Maybe consciously you didn't mean it that way, but how about unconsciously? <laughs> unconsciously. I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. Feel we're making progress? <laughs> well, I do too. None. Consciously or unconsciously? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh-oh, he's got her laughing. <laughs> the end of time. Okay. The on the river. Look, David, David's a really good person whenever anybody says they're with a really good person it means they're <laughs> means they're about to leave them you know look david's involved in a lot of charity work it's his name in the paper no roy he's a sensitive person and a lot of people don't well, see so it. am i i mean hell i'm let me be your shrink for a minute you know what that's not a good idea I, you're starting to sound like a woman who's looking for a way out that's enough roy we could kiss i'm no foul just a little small innocent you know kind of semi Platonic. Why there's no such thing as semi-platonic. Semi. There ought to be. I think you better take me home. A for effort. Yeah. We could kiss. <laughs> <laughs> His little smile is yeah, coming No. The squinty eyes I just know. kill me. Good luck in the open mic. Oh, I just wanted to listen to Romeo and not freak out. Mm -hmm. So like, did he get rid of the shakes? Oh, so like, I know. I feel like I wanted to see like a little bit of maybe a training regimen, a little or, montage. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. What's the other guy's name? Bill. David. David. Do you think David. he's playing? He's playing in the open. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's playing. Cause I remember he's like, "You'll be with David in the open, and I'll be mm. alone." Right. Look at these balls. Brand new titles. Brand new. Every one of them. Brand new titles. Sneak a few in the bag when you get a chance. You swipe enough free shit, we might even pay for this fiasco. Okay, hit the seven. No, it's hit that good. Your head down and follow through. Oh, who hit that shot? Yeah, who hit that? There's supposed to be pros here. <laughs> the shanks. Don't worry about it, man. He's watching me. Oh. Uh, why don't you try aiming a little left and you why might... Why don't you try backing well, up, give me just a little room. Hey, man, that's Johnny Miller. What a flying f it is. Uh, you, my best friend. Ooh. Well, good luck to you guys. <laughs> oh, no. My swing feels like an unfolding lawn chair. All right. Oh, boy. Take all your change and put it in your left-hand pocket. Go on, do it, Roy. Uh, the U.S. Open. I can't get over this. Right, now, tie your left shoe in a double knot. My left shoe. Right now, Roy, do it. He's listening. Turn your hand around backwards. Do it, Roy. I look like a fool. What the hell do you think you look like shooting them chili peppers up Lee Jansen's ass? I swear to God. All right. Don't test him. We saw it before. He'll quit. Take this little ball. Hit it the hell up the fairway. Romeo's like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> He's, that was all just... Yes. How'd I do that? Because you're not thinking about shanking. You're just looking like a fool, and you're hitting the ball pure and simple. Your, you. natural, your brain was getting in the way. Mm -hmm. I should recommend that you work on your short game. I think you ought to get drunk. You always play better when you're wasted. Oh, now what time do I tee off? You tee off at 7.08 where the first guy's going. On more, oh, just Oh, gosh. Here. Hey. He was Let's serious. Go, come on. Here's to the finely tuned athlete on the verge of greatness. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Dressing you out? Yes, me too. Mr. Roy McAvoy. Uh, in time for a quick bucket? Tee it up. Oh, I've seen this all on TV. Just hit the big dog up to shoot there. No, I've learned my lesson. I'm gonna play safe, smart, fairways and greens. Hand me a two iron. He's gonna be himself. I know. Though. He's gotta find the balance. Yeah. Yeah, humble. Eighty-three. I was hung over. Maybe that was a coaching mistake on my. Romeo. Yeah. Hey, I'm not gonna run right now, but I'll see you later. No, it's either cover or nothing. They want you for you. We say weekend. Excuse me, Mr. Sims. Excuse me. Would you mind giving our grandson an autograph? Can you people not see that I'm busy? This is my office. Do I come to your office and ask you for your autograph? An ugly dog. The children. Oh, children. The dog. dog. Don't talk to me. Don't oh, talk cup. to him. He might need a little anger, though, you know? Now, how in the world did a great ball striker like yourself manage to put up an 83? Well, I missed a four-foot putt on 18. Ain't like playing some muni track in Brownsville, is it, Bucko? There's uh, integrity, tradition, and honor 
include kicking a man when he's down? Come on, Molly. This is just guy stuff. You know, this man still has a lot of great golf shots in his system. I'll bet you $100 right now that Roy here can hit a ball through that door over the patio and into the river. She's on one, and I'm here for it. You gonna drag your ass home with an 83? No. For $200, I say that Roy can hit the ball through the damn bar, out the patio, make that pelican right there fly off its post. Hey. Hey, you got this shot, Pods. He can do this, all right? He can do he this can shot. He can do it in any way. Let me just get this over with. Get that little bit of arrogance back. We like it a little, yeah. Amber. We're mm -hmm. mildly attractive. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yeah! You're all f nuts. Yeah. You really look good. She's a little crazy. So are they, like, broken up now? I... Are like, they still together? <laughs> like, what's going on? I think they're done. I think they broke up. Yep. I think, uh... <laughs> it's a real deal. I don't know. Oh, well. Oh. everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the poor man. I know. <laughs> I feel like he got the woman. Yep. He's gonna have the opposite of the shanks. Like, yes. He is on his quest. Yes. Mythical destiny. No idea where he came from. But here he is. Ten under. Ten under. Shoot. Look at that. Smooth as silk. The opposite of the shame. An eagle to shoot 60, although no one has knocked it on the green in two here today. 237, man. Three wood. How many has he played now? I think this is the 18th hole. Nope. He can still knock a wedge close and make par. He would include one of the most remarkable turnarounds. He'll need to get this on the upper level of the screen. Oh, that scared me. I, I took a picture of the water and I... I know, I thought he was going to blow it. Good stroke. He's got it. <gasps> I've just seen the greatest round in the United States Open history. Roy McAvoy has his signature on golf's all-time masterpiece round. Now what? Is there another day? Another day, yeah. Now, why don't we go somewhere fancy and celebrate? Get ready for the final round. There's nothing to celebrate besides you're my people, right? That's right. Yeah, we've been on the bus for two days. Now. I just got a full body goose bone. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Green, um, meet Dr. Griswold. This is Molly. Hi. She's uh, my shrink. Huh? Well, ex shrink. Oh. We're sleeping together now, so I can't be a therapist. Knew it. Thanks. What? To the cup! To the cup! To the cup! You have to do that. Particularly lovely tonight, Dougie. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> he's now back in contention, but he must continue he's the to same play smart. Yeah. Well, he's, he's pulled the three wood, and he continues to play this tournament without an ounce of fear. That's got to go. Got to go. He's done it again. Hey, no! Give me another ball. Right. No. no. This is the yeah, Memory yes. Romeo. The hell was I thinking? Went for the green on 18 today. I'm just wondering if you think that cost you. I saved par, didn't I? Just trying to understand what you're thinking. You had the same shot yesterday on 18 without a headwind. You don't think I can knock it on from there? I'm wearing I mean, I'm playing for real grande short haul trucking, Brinks and Brown sanitation. You think a guy like me bothers to worry about the percentages? Are they all in the manga? <laughs> I'm nervous about tomorrow, boy. I want to know the overall rankings. Like this, you know. He's tied for first. He is? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what they said. It won't always be like this. Yes, it will. It will. I can't tell if I want him to take the same shot. I know. And, and make it. Go for or it. just find I know. learn his lesson. I Yeah. We watched a lot of golf growing up. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. always on the TV. Our grandpa loved mm -hmm. golf. Our parents. You mean blow up, don't you, sport? You always do. Ooh, calling him sport so condescending. Yeah, I hate that. <clears throat> he really does. David just looks so smug. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Children. Yeah, the dogs. That was Roy? Yeah. Oh, you don't, don't let David get in your head. Come on, Roy. Be yourself. Be you. Yes. Do not let him get in your head. Careful. Don't don't touch it. I know the rules, Romeo. Go right through there. Go for it. No, oh, God. Put a good move on the top. Really, no. uh, don't worry. About we need some kind of.
Was it good? Please let it be good. No chance for parole. In fact, the only thing he's got... Gotta hit the ball back in the fairway. Got no chance to hit it on the green. 50 bucks says I knock it on from here with a 7-iron. On the green? You got it. McCord, what's he got? What's he, what's he doing? Hey! Little Happy Gilmore action! Yeah. He needed one of those. Yep. I feel like he needed a bet, you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah. He's got to feel yeah. like him. Oh, I wanted to nail this. Okay, the music's changed. I know. His walk has changed. <gasps> Who goes first? Who goes closest? Closest. Oh, furthest. Oh, furthest. Looks pretty low. We'll just roll in like you know what you're doing. Hit it close, sport. Ugh. Sport really is so yeah. terrible. I can't watch. I know, I'm like actually nervous for him. <gasps> well, I mean, how did he get the name Tim Cop? Oh, he was the catcher on the high school baseball team. Star pitcher had a big league curve. Not all his pitches hit Roy in the mitt. Ouch. Team thought Tim Cup was a whole lot better in plank. <laughs> Never mind, Tim Cup has an into the golf. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little wild to realize that Prince Charming might be wearing a beer stained undershirt with a sausage hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, I could use a little help, I think. You know, I've seen what you've done with McAvoy. Well, hey, let me give you my card. There's a bunch of guys in the locker room could use your help as well, I'm sure. You know what? Take them all. This is Doreen. Hi. I love that they're bonding. I know. <laughs> That birdie by Peter Jacobs has forged a tie now for the lead, and Roy McAvoy just won't go away. One shot back at six under par. So there's seven, he's six. Those other two are seven under par, he's six under par. Oh, yeah. It's going to come down to that freaking hole, isn't it? Yes. So it's come down to the 72nd hole, all battling to be crowned the next Open champion. Oh, that's so fun. Jacobson's laying up. He's to got an iron. Jacobson's gonna lay up, Jimmy, and I think and I lay up. virtually assures himself. Like basically go up before, before the water mm -hmm. so that he can, you can for sure hit it over. Yeah. Well, we've seen this position before. McAvoy with another perfect drop. I, I don't know what I want him to do. This is for par. So Birdie wins it. Birdie wins it. Jacobson's in a lead, eight under. They all have to catch him. He's laying up. <laughs> He's laying up. He's got to lay up. Birdie to tie, eagle to win. Gutless wonders laying up. You lay up too, man. Still make a birdie laying up. If I make an eagle, that puts me 10 under. No one's ever finished an open 10 under. Oh. This is the choice it comes down to. This is our immortality. You need to be thinking, hit the seven iron. This is what always happens. He's going for it. Go for it. <gasps> Go for it, Roy. Just knock it on. Oh, oh my gosh. I actually don't know what's going to happen. Are they going to humble him? He hit 237 on that course, remember? Yes, yes. Maybe we're home. He can feel it. This has a chance. It's gotta go. Gotta this go. has got a chance. It I could. think he's done it. If this drops in the water. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> Stay up! Stay. Broke up and down will make par will tie. And you put a hell of a move on that, man. It'll gust from the gods cost me. We'll go up there, we'll take our drop, we'll tie, and we'll win it in the playoff. I'm playing it from right here, now. Take your drop and make your par, Roy. Give me a ball. Unbelievable. He could go up, use the drop zone, make par, force a playoff with Jacobson, and get out of here. Easy, guys, now. He can still make a five. <laughs> Stay. What is this movie doing? Give me another ball. <laughs> Give me another ball. Just take your drop. This is what happened to Bush yes, to get in into the clubs. Clubs. Or whatever, yeah. To get on the tour. Start breaking his clubs. Dropping seven, hitting his eighth shot. What is he doing? Look at Sims behind him. This isn't even fun anymore. This is the last ball you got in the bag, Roy. You get this one wet, we're disqualified. I can make it across. Uh, we all know you can make it across. Yeah, you already did it twice. You're right, Roy. Just knock it on. Let her rip. Let the big doggy. Yeah. If he doesn't finish the hole with this ball, he can't turn in a card. He's disqualified. All through, Roy. All the way. 
don't, I actually don't know what's gonna happen. Well, he knows how to please the crowd. <laughs> he still lost, though. Yeah, he definitely lost. But, oh, he's so cute. Man, did he put on a show. I mean, he is crazy. <laughs> he's got issues. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we all? Yes. <laughs> oh, on the ball. That is hilarious. That's what you pay to go to a master's for, yeah. though. <laughs> <laughs> How would they know which one? Yeah, yeah. For real. <laughs> God ain't come here to play for no second, Romeo. <laughs> and Sims will always be second. Hey! Shot of the tournament, my God! Oh, hell, Roy, it doesn't matter. Molly, I, I just made it 12 on the last hole of the U.S. Open. That's right. It was the greatest one. I like how he's just trying to see this. He's going to remember the Open five years from now. They're going to remember your 12. I am so proud of you. <laughs> you go down. Down and flame. Never mind what. Right. <laughs> Darling? Why don't you look mm. cute? Come on under. Nice part, David. <laughs> 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 you know that by finishing in the top 15 at the Open, you qualified to be in it next year? Really? Mm hmm. I'm thinking with your game, you could go back to the qualifying school and go out on tour. Nah. Then I wouldn't see you. Oh, well, <clears throat> actually, I picked up a whole bunch of new clients at the Open. A lot of the guys on tour said if I could do that much for you, imagine what I could do for them. You know, man goes through what I've gone through. He's supposed to learn something. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out what I learned. <laughs> you can't just listen to your heart. You got to listen to your brain. You know, Roy, we could kiss. You mean like a no harm, no foul kiss? Good idea. <laughs> I think they're gonna go play more. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's gonna go to the Open or the Masters or whatever. He's going on the tour. <laughs> Roy, 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 Roy. Oh, uh, it's it's the same thing you said in the middle. Like I want to be mad at him. <laughs> I just can't be. I know. And like it really was so ridiculous, but at the same time, like we end up all cheering for him. Yeah, and I'm like, it's like he won. Yeah, like, it's literally, literally. I can't believe I'm saying this, but like I kind of like that it wasn't formulaic. Like, yes. Yeah. No, I get it that. It was so mm -hmm. unexpected. I'm like, okay, this is it. Everyone's standing up. <laughs> it goes in the water, and then he d makes the same mistake literally five <laughs> times over. And I'm like, okay. And in the beginning, I was like, I want him to like. I wanted her to be a montage and for him to clean yeah. up and move out of the Winnebago and like get his life together. But then I'm like, you know what? He's so, he's happy. Yes. Yeah, he really is. He was happy uh -huh. with his friends yeah. in Salome, Texas, in the Waffle House. Yeah, I like that he stayed true to himself. I know. He's like, no, I am who I am. And that's, yeah. yeah. And you know what? I he, like to golf too. He, he got the girl. So, yes, he did. And just, we're going on record. We hear love old people, children, and dogs. Yes. And popcorn in bed. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Oh, and that was really fun. Yeah, that was fun. And it kind of was like it was so not the Kevin Costner as you. Yes, I know. Yet still charming. Yeah, <laughs> still got that squinty eye smile. Mm -hmm. It was fun. It was fun. I, who knew golf would be so exciting? I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like everyone drive head to the driving range this weekend. Yeah, because if that doesn't make you want to golf, I don't know. I know. Um, thank you so much for watching along. We'll see you next time.